Hey, I'm Brian, and today I'm doing another quick toot. I wonder what today's quick toot's going to be about. I have no idea. They just sat me in front of the camera and said, do a quick toot. Today's quick toot, I'm going to show you how to make ties. And if I can do it, you can do it too. So today I'm using the tie pattern that's included in Simplicity shirt pattern number 8180. From that, I made a cardboard template. The pattern comes in two parts, but I put them together as one for my template. With the fabric right side up, lay your tie pattern along the bias, which means diagonally to the warp and weft of the fabric. If you want to learn more about the bias, see our bias tape and seam binding toot. Place pins as needed, then cut out the fabric. Next, Lay out your fabric onto iron-on interfacing, making sure that the shiny side of the interfacing is towards the back side of the fabric. Pin as needed, then cut the interfacing. When ironing the interfacing to the fabric, lift the iron completely off the fabric before moving it to a new section. If you slide the iron like you were ironing a shirt, you can catch the fabric or interfacing and iron a wrinkle into your tie that you won't be able to get out, or worse, get the interfacing stuck to the iron itself. Also for this step, make sure the steam is turned off. With the interfacing down, fold the bottom angle of the tie over to make the triangular point. Overlap the tip a bit for seam allowance and pin in place. Repeat this step for the narrow end of the tie. Sew both ends down using a standard straight stitch. Now turn the ends right side out. Use something smooth and somewhat pointed to push the corners all the way out. Lay the tie right side up and fold it lengthwise. Line up the corners of the larger front end of the tie. If the narrow end of the tie doesn't line up exactly right, that's okay, as no one will really see this end anyway. Pin the edges together as needed. Sew the edges together using a standard straight stitch with as little seam allowance as possible, about as wide as the edge of the presser foot. Pull the tie right side out through the unsewed gap in the large end. Lay the tie out face down with the seam up. Straighten and iron the tie flat with the seam as close to center as possible. You can use steam for this step. Now your tie is finished. Now you can go out and make cool ties too. Ooh, look, we were actually rolling audio that time. Awesome. So if you like this video, subscribe and give us comments below on what we can do better or suggestions for a future quick toot. See you next time.